Chapter 7 Weather, Climate and Adaptations of Animals to Climate Weather We find that the daily weather report carries information about temperature, humidity and rainfall during the past 24 hours. It also gives the timings of sunrise, sunset, moonrise and moonset. The weather report also predicts the weather for the day. Temperature The weather report given in the figure tells us that the maximum temperature during the past 24 hours was 36.5 degrees Celsius. The figure plus 3 in brackets means that this maximum temperature is 3 degrees Celsius above normal. The minimum temperature during the past 24 hours was 28.6 degree Celsius. The figure plus 2 in brackets means that this minimum temperature is 2 degree Celsius above normal. Moonrise and Moonset The weather report given in the figure tells us that the moon will rise on Sunday at 4.45 p.m. and will set on Monday 3.03 a.m. Sunrise and Sunset The weather report in the figure tells us that the sun will set on Sunday at 7.11 p.m. and the sun will rise on Monday at 5.44 a.m. Humidity We know that air or atmosphere always contains some water vapor or moisture in it. Humidity is a measure of the moisture in air. The weather report given in the figure tells us that the maximum humidity recorded in the past 24 hours was 66% and the minimum humidity was 53%. Weather forecast The forecast of weather for the day, Sunday in this case, tells us that partly cloudy sky, which means it may rain. Thundery development is likely in some areas. The maximum and minimum temperature predicted for the day is 37 degrees Celsius and 28 degrees Celsius. The atmospheric condition on a particular day at a place with respect to the temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind, speed, etc. is called the weather at that place on that day. The temperature, humidity and other factors are called the elements of the weather. The sun causes changes in the weather. All changes in the weather are caused by the sun. The sun is a huge sphere of hot gases at a very high temperature. It is the source of all heat and light on the earth. Sun's heat absorbed and reflected by the earth's surface, oceans and the atmosphere play important roles in determining the temperature at any place. If there is a lot of water vapour or moisture in the air, we say that the weather is humid. If there is rain, we say that the weather is rainy today. We know heat from the sun heats the earth's surface. The hot surface of earth heats the air near it. This hot air, being lighter, rises up creating an area of low pressure. Air from high pressure area moves towards the low pressure area. This moving air is called wind. So, it is the sun's heat which causes wind to blow. If a lot of wind blows in a day, then we say that the weather is windy today. Elements of the weather Maximum and Minimum Temperatures The highest temperature recorded during a day is called the maximum temperature and the lowest temperature recorded during the day is called the minimum temperature. The maximum and minimum temperatures are recorded with the help of a special thermometer called maximum and minimum thermometer. The minimum temperature for a particular day is recorded in the early morning. The maximum temperature for a particular day is reached sometime in the afternoon. Humidity Humidity is the measure of the moisture in air. When the amount of water vapour in the air is high, we say humidity is high. The newspaper weather reports show humidity as a percentage. Relative humidity is the amount of water vapour present in the air expressed as a percentage of the maximum amount of water vapour it can hold at that temperature. Relative humidity is measured with the help of a hygrometer. Rain and snow In the clouds, when the water droplets join together and become heavy, they come down as rainfall. When the temperature is very low, 
the water droplets in a cloud freeze into crystals of ice and fall down as snowfall rainfall is generally measured in millimeters with the help of a rain gauge rain gauge is a measuring cylinder with a funnel at the top to collect rainwater rain gauge measures the rainfall at a place in the unit of millimeters mm climate the average weather pattern at a place taken over a long period of time say 25 years is called the climate of that place for example the temperature in the himalayan region is very low most of the time then we can say that the climate of himalayan region is very cold the temperature in the thar desert is high most of the time then we can say that the climate in thar desert is very hot in meghalaya the annual rainfall is 400 cm and above it rains almost every day we say the climate in meghalaya is hot and humid in jaisalmer rajasthan the annual rainfall is 10 to 12 cm in a year we say Jaisalmer has hot and dry climate. Polar region. The areas situated near the north and south poles of the earth are called polar regions. Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Alaska in USA and Siberian region of Russia are some well-known areas that belong to the polar regions. features of the polar regions the polar regions present an extreme cold climate these regions are covered with snow and it is very cold for most part of the year in winter the temperature can be as low as minus 37 degrees celsius for 6 months the sun does not set at the poles while for the other 6 months the sun does not rise it has extreme variations in daylight hours with 24 hours of daylight in summer and 24 hours of complete darkness in midwinter adaptations in polar bear polar bear are perfectly adapted to live in the ice cold environment of the arctic polar region north pole of the earth they have the following adaptations polar bear has two thick layers of fur on its body the outer thick layer of fur is made of hollow hair Polar bear have white colored fur so they are not easily visible in the snowy white background it has a strong sense of smell so that it can locate and catch its prey mainly seals for food polar bear has short ears and tail polar bear has long curved and sharp claws which help it to walk on ice adaptations in penguins penguins are flightless birds that live in the antarctic region south polar region of the earth penguins do not have predators in the icy remote regions where they live penguin is white in color with black colored feathers on its back penguin has thick skin and a layer of fat called blubber penguins huddle together in groups to keep themselves warm like polar bear penguins are also excellent swimmers migration Migration is the movement of animals in search of more favorable climatic conditions, availability of food and water. Such animals are called migratory animals. One of the most common migratory bird which comes to India every year for a few months is the Siberian crane. The normal habitat of Siberia cranes is Siberia, which is a very cold place. When winter sets in Siberia it gets extremely cold. The Siberian cranes fly thousands of kilometers and come to warmer places in India such as Bharatpur in Rajasthan, Sultanpur in Haryana and some wetlands of northeast and some other parts of India. Arctic tern lives in the Arctic region north pole. When the Arctic region has winter, Antarctica south pole has summer. Every winter the Arctic tern flies all the way to Antarctica and returns to the Arctic region when it is summer covering a distance of about 35000 kilometers the tropical region the areas which lie close to the equator is called tropical region it extends between 10 degree north and 10 degree south 
the climatic conditions of the tropical region hot climate because of its location around the equator abundant rainfall throughout the year this makes the region humid absence of winter season sunlight for at least 12 hours in other words days and nights are almost equal in length throughout the year adaptations in elephants elephant is a very large animal of indian tropical rainforest it can live and survive in the tropical rainforests due to the following adaptations the most distinctive feature of elephants is the boneless muscular trunk the trunk of an elephant is basically an elongated nose the trunk helps the elephant in many ways adaptations in big cats the wild animals such as lions tigers leopards etc are called big cats the various adaptations in big cats which help them live and survive in tropical rainforest habitat are as follows adaptations in red eyed frog the red eyed frog has big and bulging bright red eyes and lives on the trees in the tropical rainforest so it is called red eyed frog red eyed frog has developed sticky pads on its feet to adhere stick to the undersides of leaves and help it to climb easily on the tree trunk on which it lives adaptations in toucan some animals like toucan have developed adaptations to obtain food which cannot be easily procured by other animals toucan has a long colorful beak which measure more than half the length of the body adaptations in lion tailed macaque the lion tailed macaque lives in the rainforests of western ghats in south india its most outstanding feature is the silver white mane which surrounds the head from the cheeks down to its chin this gives this monkey its german name beard ape adaptations in monkeys monkeys are well adapted to live on the trees in tropical rainforests they have long tails for grasping branches their hands and feet are such that they can easily hold on to the branches of the trees they have opposable thumb which allow them to grasp small things